Hello family, it's Ariana, your Tarot Life Coach, bringing you your April 2022 Tarot Reads. Big, big hugs, lots and lots of love, high fives, and some damn a dirty shoulder rubs. Thank you guys for joining me. If you're new to my channel, we're gonna have some fun. Let me tell you the lineup, okay? We're gonna talk a little bit about astrology, then we're gonna break it down into the um, elements, and then we're gonna break it down into the signs. And don't worry, it's timestamp, so you can just click on whatever it is you wanna listen to and forget all this other stuff. But we're gonna have some fun, all right? And if you're a returning family member, you already know what's up. You know we're gonna have a good, good time, all right? So let's jump into this real quick. April is going to be a very interesting month for us okay Aries happy birthday the fourth is my dad's birthday super excited to celebrate it with him now April 1st new moon April Fool's Day are you ready for this 12 degrees Aries it's gonna be hot it's gonna be popping it's gonna be ready okay wonderful time to set those intentions you have this Aries energy coming in spring is in effect it's a beautiful time 12 degrees comes down to the number three three is significant of new and exciting things right coming to the forefront now on the second Mercury goes Kazemi, 13 degrees Aries. So what is Kazemi? It means in the heart of the sun. It's a very super tight conjunction between Mercury and the sun. So think about Mercury is the planet of communication, divine communication by the sun. This is divine communication coming through. This should bring much needed clarity and communication and spiritual downloads as you're moving forward and how you want to move forward. On the fourth, Mars goes conjunct Saturn 22 degrees. Let's talk about this. Mars, we wants to take some action. Saturn said, make it worth it, okay? Like Missy Elliott said, is it worth it? Let me work it, okay? 22 degrees, we are building the foundation here. Mars is telling Saturn, like, hey, we gotta do this. We gotta put it in action. All that hard work that we've been doing is coming to the forefront. Now, on the fifth, Venus enters into Pisces. I'm a Morcito. You're so cute. You're so handsome, Pisces. Pisces, you're going to be looking good, all right? You're going to be looking hot. I, I like it. Now, love is in the air, okay? Pisces, dreamy energy, rose-colored glasses. Proceed with caution. Now, the 10th, the 12th, and the 13th. Best days to do astrological magic, right? The energies are beautiful. So if you want to light your candles, set intentions, do anything like that, this is a great days to do it. Mercury enters into Taurus on the 10th. Communication is going to get grounded, baby. On the 12th, we have Jupiter, this benefic planet, conjunct, which means it's right next to Neptune, 24 degrees Pisces. Lots of dreamy energy. Do something with dreams. Put your dreams. Make a dream board, a vision board. Get it out there and put it out there and do some magic. On the 14th, Mars goes into Pisces, okay? You're going to become very passionate about your hopes, your dreams, and your wishes, and you're going to want to speak from your heart. I love it. On the 16th, full moon in Libra 27 degrees 27 comes down to a nine this is a completion we're ready to move forward now this full moon in Libra is saying what's got to go what needs to go friend you need to be very fair okay it's not a time to be hostile ditty and crazy but be fair okay as you're moving forward think about the justice card weigh weigh and measure what needs to go now sun enters into Taurus on the 19th happy birthday baby happy birthday Taurus likes to party now on the 29th mercury enters into gemini gemini this wonderful uh communication is coming through but i'm gonna say this mercury rules the sign of gemini so it's at home here right it's like nice at home we talk and we gro we grooving but i'm gonna say be careful not to over talk you know with all this beautiful energy coming in you might say a little too much now, the 30th, we have Venus. Venus, I am Morcito. Conjunct Jupiter. Okay, two benefic planets sitting next together talking about stuff. 28 degrees Pisces, okay? They're right there. They're having a conversation in this dreamy energy. 28 comes down to a 10. 10 is telling you something has to end, so something can begin with the one. Now, new moon, partial solar eclipse at 10 degrees Taurus. We have two full moons this month. What are you going to release? What are you going to let happen? And Libra and Taurus are both ruled by Venus. What do you love? What do you love to do? And what are you going to do? All right. Beautiful, beautiful energies coming in this month. I do have to make a shout out. I want to tell Mama TW. I think that's what uh, I have her on, on Instagram, who I met, who sells this wonderful line of makeup called Lime Life by Alcone. Um, it's available in 34 shades, highly pigmented. It's great for camera. Let me know if you guys like it. I'm super excited. 
tried it and it's a vegan okay so I'm gonna put her information on the bottom you can contact her get more information they make wonderful products but the foundation goes on super super smooth you can build it and work with it and put it on as much as you like all right so with that being said we're gonna jump into the science if you want to book a reading with me you can only book it through my I would say Instagram but it's not my Instagram through my I just went blank link tree I want to say tree of life link tree so you can book it through my link tree we can hook up I want to promote my DM readings for 2222 you get a quick answer within 24 to 48 hours okay one question don't be shooting me no hard questions it's like is this the right direction am I going in the right direction you know Questions that you need guidance on that you will receive your information either through DM or, or email, okay? Or text if that's easier. But you need to contact me through my DM, okay? Or you can get it on my link tree, okay? Now, if you don't follow me on Instagram, where the hell are you, friend? I go live. I do live readings. We have a great time. I don't know where you've been, but you need to be over there with me, all right? With that being said, let's jump into the reads. Hello, water signs, Cancer. Hey, Cancer, Scorpio. Hey, and Pisces. Hey, Pisces. How are you guys doing? What's going on? What's new? What's popping? This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. If you're listening for love, I'm a Venus Cancer. So, hey, 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 how are you guys doing? So, let's jump into this intro really quickly, and then we're going to go into our individual signs. So, the sun wants to shine on you guys like hey it's your motherfucking birthday but it's not but the sun wants it to be if sun wants you to be the leader of your life take a stand be bright don't be afraid to shine you are gaining the respect from others you're being in the spotlight those things are coming to the forefront the crystal that comes out for you is amber the fossilized um, tree resin okay very much used in ambulance and talisman all right it helps you with your solar plexus and your money and your money pura to help the healing process of your confidence um this is a great time for wisdom and it's also a great time for patience this this crystal helps with depression uh, mental imbalance and feeling disconnected now when this comes out it's asking you what needs to be balanced for healing to happen in your life in order for things to move forward to the future so with that your ancestors want you to figure out your purpose a sacred spot where you can either go into worship or have a moment in time where you feel completely well about who and what you are okay now you are going in between worlds right now like there's things that are going on that don't make any sense to you so you are leaving like a really dark night of the soul and moving into where the sun is shining some of y'all left a really cold place to go be in a really warm place now the magic to create this month with a double full moon is that of beauty. You might be doing a lot of magical stuff to increase beauty, enchanting your mirrors, enchanting your makeup, things of that nature. Now, your other oracle this month is your first chakra. Get very grounded and work with Archangel Michael to help remove any blocks that are getting in the way. Your animal energy comes from that of the camel, okay? Ow, hump day, what, huh? What's going on? Anyways, when you think about the camel, the camel is able to reserve a lot of water on their back, right? So trust that you have enough resources to meet all the challenges that are coming your way. Trust that you are more than enough. Trust that you are everything that you need to get through this because things are being moved and cleared, okay? Especially on the home front because of the four up here. That's the fourth house. It's ruled by cancer. Things in the home are going to change. There's others of you who want things to be removed really, really quickly, but the process is what's actually making things happen, all right? So I want you to think in your mind's eye. I want you to also pay attention to the third and the fourth this month, okay? Third, fourth, and fifth of April are gonna be very important. The fourth, because it's my daddy's birthday. Hey, happy birthday, daddy. Mm. Now, yes or no question in your mind's eye. Let's see what we got. Using the Muse Tarot. I wanna go right here to this one and that one. Okay, so let's see what's at the bottom of the deck. The Ace of Pentacles. We wanna start something new. We want to be starting something. So let's see what it is. Okay. So question number one. All right. If you pick question number one in your mind's eye, that is going to be um, a no. It's a no. It's too much. It's too heavy for you. It's the ten of swords. It could lead to a bad situation. Um, don't. Um, if the offer is too good to be true financially, it probably is. Okay. 
It shows card number two for your question. The answer is a shiss. Okay, go do it. Go for it. Go take that leap of faith. Jump off the cliff. Do what you got to do to go get what you need. All right. So that's some beautiful energy coming in for you, water signs. Super excited about it. I know you always feel like I do y'all's videos shorter, but like today I have to go pick up my daughter, and that which means I got to change because I can't show up to her school like this. They're going to be like, what's wrong with that lady? And then I'll come back and do your videos before I go to class tonight. So let's cut this deck. I have the Three of Pentacles with the Princess of Arrows. So I'm going to say be careful of your communication at work with who you're working with and what's being worked on. There's also an imbalance in communication coming forth for you, so be aware of that. The energy that's also coming in for you with the Three of Pentacles reversed is usually teamwork makes the dream work, you know, like they say, but there's no dream work in here with this team. Be careful. There's also someone who is spreading information about you, and be careful what you say about others because they can get twisted and make you look like the bad guy. Whew, that was a lot. Okay, let's give it a couple more shuffles. Gemini. Oh, Gemini. Well, be careful with the Gemini. <laughs> Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. Oh, I love me some Pisces. What's up, Pisces? My mom was a Pisces. My friend Rochelle's a Pisces. What's up, Rochelle? Ew, I love me some Rochelle. Okay. We're going to go ahead and go with this. We got Cancer. I don't want to work. Scorpio. Pisces. Ew, Pisces, are you dealing with a fire sign? Ew, I love it. I like it. I love it. I want some more. Uh oh, that's how it fell. I'm going to keep it like that. And overall, we have a lot of inner conflict going through with us. So, well, outer conflict, because when it's reversed, there's just like a lot going on everywhere else that it's affecting the way that we're making decisions, okay? I feel like I can't grip the cards. Okay, so we're, we're not feeling heal from a certain situation, okay? Um, could be a financial situation. It could be a situation with an earth sign. But we're not feeling grounded. We're not feeling healed by it. We are going to change our ways with the devil reverse. We're not going to take on more than what we need to anymore. We're not doing that. But there was an ending, possibly with a Capricorn too. Um, I'm picking that up. There's an ending that you didn't really like, but the soul contract is up. And you're going to have the strength. You're going to have the strength to move on and move forward and be strong. I like it. I love it. Okay. There will be a damn dirty celebration too at the end of this. You will celebrate. You will know what to pick. You have made your decision. Some of y'all are picking a fire sign. Okay. Now the hangman is how it ends, but he's reversed. And so when I say the hangman reverse, this card 12, we got to go to justice. We got to go to card 11, right? So where was the injustice that's making you hang on to a situation that needs to be released? And once you release that, then this turns upside up, you know, turns the right way. And you're able to go to the transformation with the death card with 13, right? And that's what we ultimately want. But there's so much outside conflict going on right now for you water signs that it makes it very, very difficult to um, move forward. It's like some things that are just like out of your control. And that's okay. It's okay for it to be out of your control. But there's also an important time to say like look I poured enough into this situation and I can't pour anymore so with that being said we are about to jump into your reads hello cancer how you doing big baby let's get into your read now remember you had the five of wands outside conflict what's going on who's getting up in your tea baby because you know I'm gonna protect my cancerian friends okay now Bad decisions, bad choices, ending of relationships with possibly someone in the past or reminiscing about how the good old days used to be, making you feel a little incomplete right now. <coughs> I feel like there's a lot of energy around you that's making you feel like you're missing out on something, like things should be different, things should be um, completely different, right? But you don't know how to make it the right way. So let's see here. Let's do a pick a card for that lover. You know what? Let's look at the five of wands first because I'll forget. Five of wands. What we got for my lovely, lovely cancers? The, there's a lot of things getting in the way of your healing. There's a lot of um, situations that you don't have control of getting in the way of your healing, especially in your relationships because 34 comes down to a seven. Let me catch my breath. I went to go pick up my kid. I had to walk through the woods. <laughs> And this situation is very heavy for you. And um, I feel like with this situation, instead of us trying to, you know, like for me, I always think like reading cards, it's good to know what's coming up and it's good to know situations and things like that. But it's also important to understand how to fix these things, right? So maybe financial issues are coming up. Here's Lakshmi. And it's time to clear and cleanse with Sensar. 
and Kali wants to come through and clear things for you, okay? There's a lot of endings that are coming into your life, um, and it's very difficult for you because, Cancer, you have a tendency to retreat when things don't go your way. The lovers, let's see what the lovers is with a beautiful pick a card. Let's see. Don't go breaking my heart. That came to my head. Ah, why? Why? So why? I'm trying to fix the camera. Okay. So card number one, I want you to pay attention to the 11th. Where did I put my dates? Because, you know, I like to know, like, what's happening in the world. What's happening in astrology. So right after Mercury enters into Taurus, I want you to really focus on how you want to manifest your finances. How you want things to go for you, right? So you have the cornucopia. There was a financial decision that you could have made that is like really coming at you. I do think finances are going to be very important for you this month, um, Cancer. We'll get to love later, but uh, there's a lot with finances coming through. And once Mercury enters into Taurus, Taurus rules the second house. The second house is all about the way you, your relationship is with money. You know, this one flew out. Correct your mistakes. Whatever it was that you did on your end, you know, own it and then move forward. Now, if you pick card number two, you have that of the woman holding her heart. So I feel like maybe you're like all in your feelings and your partner isn't. And that's like really bumming you out. So it's important to build on solid ground. So the number 444 for you and the number 111 for the other ones, for the card one. Now, <clears throat> 44 comes to an 8, right? And this 8 is significant of the 8th house. Very Scorpio energy. Very much intimacy. And I feel like you want to be very intimate with someone. Intimacy isn't just sex. Intimacy is really getting into the situations and the feelings that need to come out in a situation. And this has been something that's a little bit rough for you, okay? So let's get more on the lovers reverse. What's going on? We have the Six of Pentacles, the Emperor, and the Two of Pentacles with the king of pentacles okay so this makes me feel like okay if i look at this we need to balance how much we give and how much we take we also need to watch who we're giving it to the emperor is a necessarily negative energy especially during aries season i want you to pay attention where your energy flows and goes where your love and where your money is going because it's going to be important for you to figure that out okay let's see what the emperor wants you to know i feel like it's time to take control the clock tower, so this could be a government information, your taxes, an ending, and the keys coming through with information. There's also a situation that only time will show you what your key information is. Let's pull a card. Let's pull an oracle card on that. So you're kind of tied up in a situation, you're kind of stuck in something, and in order to get out of that, it's just a matter of time to navigate it, and then you're going to get the key information needed to move forward. Pay attention to the 23rd. It's going to be very important for you as you get more information. Now... What does the Six of Cups have for you? And there's a Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo who might be able to assist in that situation. Six of Cups reversed. We have here the Ace of Pentacles with the Two of Wands. There is a new offer on the horizon, especially a financial offer, and you're going to take it. And I feel like you're trying to stuck between a rock and a hard place, like they say. And with that, that Ace of Pentacles coming in, it's like really positive energy. You created this. You manifested this. Some of y'all might be working with um, your mother energy, working as a mother. Some of y'all having mother issues because of the moon with the Empress and the Ace of Pentacles. And you might feel blocked right now. You might feel like you're stuck in a situation that you can't get out of. So let's see here. What is this Ace of Pentacles about? Anxiety with the mice, the snake. Okay, she looks like Santa Marta la Dominadora. Okay, and the gentleman. So, and a crossroads. Some of you are having a lot of anxiety. There could be some like creeping in and out of another energy coming through and you're going to have to make a decision. There's also for me, the snake could be just like going back to things in the past that are triggering you and it's causing you to have to move forward and make a decision. What's up with the snake? The snake is about the money. You know, she wants money. She's playing small for now but she's not <clears throat> and she's very like strong woman okay what's up with this gentleman going on over here gentleman wants you to know gets very nervous you know 
very, very nervous. The number 23 and 32 is going to be highly important for you. There's also something about the way they communicate their emotions and their feelings. And there could be a post online, okay, that really bothers you, okay? And they like to show themselves off. They're very sexy, that kind of stuff. And you're just like, mm, I don't know how I feel about that. I don't like that. No, sir. That's not going to work in my book. The only one sexy over here is me. Ew. <laughs> So that energy is coming through for you. But there is a new beginning. I do believe it's a financial beginning. If you're going into business with someone, I want you to take your time and really read through the fine print. <coughs> and don't play yourself small. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm like really choking. Now, <clears throat> what's up with the Ten of Pentacles reverse? Let's see what that's about. Oh, that flew out. Oh, okay. So we have here... <clears throat> Queen of Pentacles, the devil. There could be some Capricorn energy coming in for you. And I, I know the King of Pentacles was over here earlier. I feel like you can have a tendency to be drawn to an energy that's very toxic. Okay? Or you're getting drawn into it. And you have an option of like something that's new, fiery, and fun. But you're you're stuck at a, like a crossroads. Like you're, look, as I say that, the crossroads is looking at me. You're stuck at a crossroads and you're wondering like, why am I so tied to this energy or to this past thing? Like, why? Maybe it's not so much why, but the how, you know? Like, how are you? How are you tied to this energy? The sun, the dog, the stork, and the lady. Okay. I want to say be very careful lending anybody money. I want to say only work with people who are loyal to your new beginning because I feel like there's people around you who want the old you again, like the old pushover cancer, you know, the cancer that lets them get away with murder. Well, that's the wrong thing to say, but lets them get away with things. And you're like, that's not who you are. Um, and I want to say summertime is going to be a very good time for you. Also, I think summer is going to be good for a lot of people. But for you, because I have the sun over the loyalty. I want to say if you're the sun, you're very loyal. You have a sun very loyal to you. But there is a new beginning. There's something coming in, and, and, and you're going to be very unsure. There's a person coming into your life who's going to teach you about loyalty. But I want to pull on this devil because I feel like the devil has a message for you. And the message is, look, you're going to go from the Knight of Pentacles to the Queen of Pentacles. That's progression. And here's the Queen of Wands. And then what else do we have here? The King of Swords. I'm going to say be very careful who you're going to business with, who you share your business with, and what you're doing. Because there's a lot of players in this game right now, Cancer. And I think that we need to focus on our coins and we need to focus on how we're going to move forward. There is a snake in the grass. There's someone who is trying to come through that's going to bring bad things to you. And no, Santa Marta Luminador is not bad. It just makes me think of her because the snake is on her. But this energy is of a queen of spades. So that is like the queen of swords. Kind of cold energy. Like, ugh. Be aware of that. Now, over here with the new beginning with the three of wands and the king of wands, there's something about the foundation of, a, of like really getting grounded in your luck, really getting grounded in the good things that are coming to you. Because there are good things coming to you. There are very good things coming to you. And you're going to get lucky and there's going to be a house or a, something that's going to be sold or given to you. Okay? So be aware of that. All right? Let's look and see. Let's get some final messages for you. Very interesting. I feel like a lot of this is a financial situation for you. Some of you are having a lot of issues with your mother or becoming a mother, okay? And there's a lot of anxiety. So what can we do for anxiety? Well, we can drink real chamomile tea, not that fake ass tea that people will be giving you. Some real chamomile tea, some magnesium is always good. I'm not a doctor. Always get it approved by your doctor, okay? Because you feel really stuck in a situation that's really, the, it's just a matter of time that you're going to get the answers that you need. And there are some bad decisions that you made, you know, like sometimes we have to make those bad decisions to put us on the right path. And that is completely okay. So stop beating yourself up about that, okay? Some final messages for cancer. What are some final messages? Begin to explore your options, refine your attention, and be of service, okay? So fixing your view, your perspective, but start to explore. Look for different things. What, what do you want? What do you desire? How can you move forward? Let's take a look at your finances for this month. I'm so sleepy and I apologize. Oh, okay. 
Finances. We have the cosmos. We got Jesus showing up. What? It's the thuggish, ruggish bone. I don't know why that came to my head. <laughs> you have information coming through with the page of staffs, the ten of cups, and the moon. There is something about a trip. There's also something about moving to a new city, moving to a new part of the city. You're going to get information from a family member, a young family member, okay? But there is a cycle coming to an end. I want you to pay attention of your finances before you agree to the trip, Cancer, okay? Pay attention. And then let's look at your love life. As you know, everybody's always concerned about love. At least I am. Then I'd be like, what's my money look like? Ooh, yeah, ooh, let's see what we gotta do. Okay, Cancer. What's going on in love, Cancer? What's going on in love? We got the Scorpio, we got the Death card. Five of Cups, Three of Pentacles, and the Ace of Cups. Okay? Um, and this is messages for somebody. It may not be for all. I do feel like there's this energy of trying to protect yourself from heartbreaks. So you're not really showing things. You're like not showing the injustice or the indecision that you're feeling from that person or that you're having of that person. So that is for somebody. So let's look at this. The death card, the five of cups and the three of pentacles. In order for change to happen, we got to release the path and past and we got to start working on ourselves. Okay. Everybody's always looking for love. And it's like I always tell people, like, I, I'm always looking for love, right? I always love looking for love. And then when you find it, it's like, what the hell do you do with it? Like, I didn't, I didn't expect to find this. I'm, I'm going to have to cool my head off because, like, I'm, my head hurts. Um, I didn't expect to find love. And now that I'm in love, what do I do? Because now I'm so afraid. I'm so afraid it's going to mess up, right? But we want a transformation. There's a lot of watery energy here, a lot of emotion. Work might be getting in the way of your relationship also, or their work is getting in the way. What does death have to say to us? Death is telling us, the Ten of Pentacles, that in order for you to have the whole shish kebab, the whole, the whole patooey, right? In order for you to have it all, you've got to make some changes. And I want to pull extra. What are the changes that they have to make? What is this transformation about for cancer? The moon. So there is a trip. There is a trip that you're going to take. It could be like a, a meditation also. But this is about really revealing who you are and what it is that you desire. I feel like in order for your relationship to change or your love life to change, it's about being really honest and truthful about what you want. Okay? Like, so if someone tells you, look, I just want to have fun and you really want a real relationship, don't even waste your time. Just be like, well, I'm looking for a more committed relationship. And I respect that. And you walk away. Right? You just move on. Five of Cups, Five of Cups, what do we have for our beautiful Cancer? Five of Cups with the Three of Swords. So there is this betrayal or there's something going on that we're not telling the other person about, okay? And there's a snake on his sword. So I'm going to say there is a snake in the grass, all right? Something's coming through there. Okay, Three of Pentacles, give me something good. The knight or the knave, which is the page of swords. And you see how he's like just admiring her. And she's like, oh, here we go again. You know, like, damn, we got a lot of work to do. Ace of Cups with the Four of Wands. So I feel like you want a very fun, playful relationship. A lot of fun, a lot of good things going on. However, there are things that are not being talked about on the surface. Like, we're not being honest with someone. Like, we're not telling them what we truly want. Whether it's more sex, whether it's more of their time, whether it's a, yeah, I want to be in a committed relationship. I don't want to date other people. I want to just be with you. And if you can't just be with me, I'm going to move the fuck on. Like, it's that simple, bro. Like, or sis, like, we ain't doing this. We're not playing games. And the energy that I get here is that there is a trip. Some of y'all want to go to Colorado. I don't know. I always think of this and I think of Colorado. But there's like a trip, you know, you're going to want to go. But you like know in your mind, like, I don't know. Like, I think some of y'all already know this isn't going to work. It's just not. And then for others, you're still going to try. You're still going to try to do this. And you're still willing to give your heart and put things out in the open and do your best. And there's nothing wrong with that. Just be real with yourself, Cancer. Be real with yourself and don't hurt your own feelings. All right? So if you're interested in a read and you like want quick, quick answers, you can go to Instagram and uh, DM me and we can do a DM read, which is not face to face or anything like that. It's simply you send me your question. I send you a picture of the cards. I either voice message you or text it out, whichever I'm in the mood for. 
tell you what I get within 24 to 48 hours. It's really quick answers. No, this is not like, what is my life purpose? No, this is like, hey, I'm, I have a job interview. How's it going to go? Hey, is this guy a good guy? What is this guy thinking? What is this girl thinking? Things like that. Like, we're not doing in-depth readings on an, a DM read, okay? So, quick answers, like things like that. Hello, so call me, okay? Now, you can also book a reading with me on my link tree. I will never email you and tell you you need to read or DM you and tell you you need to read or message you on YouTube and tell you you need to read because um, honestly, that's just not me um, or the way I operate. So, book with me. Come hang out with me on Instagram. We'll have a lot of fun, my cancers, and I wish you nothing but the best.